Okay, I'm going to be real with you guys for a moment. I cannot remember where we left off because it's been about two weeks since I last played this game, so I can't remember much of the game. I just know we're in a new area and we've done some some missions for the... I don't, I don't even know a name, see what I mean? I don't know a name. The only information I can share is if you see a harsh cut during this part, it's because I got the poops. Yes, that's oversharing, but... Just thought I'd let you guys know, if you see a harsh cut in the footage, it's because I have had to sprint to the toilet so I don't soil myself, basically. <laughs> but anyway, welcome back to San Andreas GTA, the definitive edition. I know I just said that the wrong way around, but anyway, let's get it! Hello? Hello, somebody in here? In here. Check this shit out. What do we have here? Yo, Carl. What up, kid? Hey, what's happening? Oh, is this undercover training? Oh, no, you must be off duty. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hush up, man. Mr. Truth here is going to be supplying you with some of the finest... <laughs> we and you are going to deliver it for us. Hey, man, you losing it. You hallucinating this shit. What? Oh. Yo, true. Come here, man. Welcome, friend. Sup? Carl here is gonna be paying you your money. <sighs> what you talking about? Now, Carl, I got a real do-gooder fucking with me. And I want you to take this evil green poison and drop it on him. <laughs> gonna ruin that asshole's career. Ah, oh, bullshit. Dudes, you want mushrooms? You lose? How about some DMT? No, not for me, man. I got a jet. Whew, shit. I'm fucked up. Yo, Carl, pay the man. Whoa, man. I never thought I'd see that. A Fed out smoking me. What? What are you, dude? FBI? DEA? Nah, I'm more like a private investigator. Friend, you give off a positive energy. How about some Vietnamese opium? Nah, I don't get in with that. But how do I know I can trust you then? What, I'm working for you now? I'm a man of peace. But some squares across that ridge are not respecting my peace. I mean survivalist maniacs, right-wingers, fascists. They have a harvester, and I need one. Get it, then you can pay me. Namaste, Carl. The fuck that mean? Later, freak. Get to the farm where the combine harvester is located. Are we gonna have to rob a combine harvester? These missions are just wacky. <laughs> They're so wacky, honestly. I cannot remember the last mission we've done because it's been about two weeks since I last played this. At this time of uploading, I mean, I'm probably already in the middle of playing Spider-Man 2. The time that this is actually uploaded. At this time of recording, I've done two parts of Lords of the Fallen, which is a fantastic game. Now, I did hit a few roadblocks where I realised maybe doing the whole game as a series wasn't beneficial because I was having to take my time with it, there was plenty of deaths, there would have been so much editing, and it would have basically been a 30 minute part, like every two or three days, and it just wasn't feasible enough to basically say, yeah guys, if you want to see the full game, you're going to have to wait about three months. Not sure what that was in the road, but the car just went past maybe, the, maybe a dead animal or something, but yeah, I just... Sometimes you have to weigh up your options and think, is this series worth me doing? Is it worth you guys waiting for it? Uh, personally, with personally with GTA San Andreas, I can do a part a day at least. Maybe two, depending on how much of it I've recorded and how much I've got in my backlog already uploaded. But with the other games that are a bit more tricky, like the Souls-like games, they're stressful. They're stressful, that's all I'll say.
The command house says located in the field towards the back of the farm. Now, how are we going to get it? Are we just going to drive on to it and just get it? There are several groups of survivalists working. They will not take kindly to any strangers. Mm, okay. Get into the farm and steal the combine harvester. So we can potentially steal that tractor, but I don't think I am going to use it. What I'll do is just drive straight on. Should be quite quick. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe I... Maybe I should have actually used uh, the tractor. Don't know, but it looks kind of shifted. Roll them in some big shit. Here we go. Oh, that was close. Give me your combine harvester. How am I going to get it? They were just press triangle walking up, so I'm not sure if that works. <laughs> you just let me have it. Really? Oh, this goes quite slow. Maybe I should have actually killed all the people before. Oh, it actually spits out uh, the corn as well, or hay, whatever it is. I don't know. I'm not a farmer. Stop that dang farming. Oh, squelchy. Okay. I think that maybe I should have actually took out all these people before getting to the combine harvester, but this is, this is basically just a quick and easy way to do the mission, isn't it? So... It should go smoothly. We haven't got any police on us. I'm not sure if we will get police on us, but I'm hoping that we don't because it will just make the part a lot more difficult. Now, I could potentially just go straight over that hill and get straight to the map, but there's a huge risk that the vehicle will topple over. That's one thing I do remember in the previous part. I think it was maybe the last part we dealt with or the part before that. I was having to take down someone like a police informer in a cabin and I'd done the mission, or no, I chased them and basically I ruined his body the first time and then the second time I decided to drive off the hill thinking it would be a shortcut and essentially blow up my own vehicle so uh, yeah, that wasn't the best way to do it so I sort of need to cut back on the shortcuts. Here we go, one combine harvester. Man, you've brought peace back to my valley. Thank you, friend. I'll call you when the whoop to do is ready. Just make sure you get that cash. Hey! Carl, it's Caesar. What's up? Bad thing is shit, that's what's up, Holmes. What's wrong? Where's Kendall? Is she okay? She's with me, she's okay for now. The varios los Aztecas, it's all over. There's a price on my head. Maybe Kendall's too. What happened? Trust, respect, honor, they don't mean Jack and Los Santos now. My OGs, my S's, all dead or in hiding, eh? Get out of town. Head over to Angel Pine, rent you and Kendall a trailer, and I'll meet you there. Okay. Well, I just got some shit to take care of, and, uh... No, just get my sister out of town someplace safe. Don't shit with me on this one. I can't lose her, man. Sure thing, Holmes. We'll see you in Angel Pine. Okay, so now we've got a mission for Caesar. Now, the truth. We've done one mission for him, and it doesn't show any other missions available. Maybe there'll be some more that come up, but we finally got a buggy, baby. New vehicle. Now, let's take a shortcut, because why not? Please go for the fence. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. That, uh, that, that backfired. <laughs> that massively backfired. Oh, no. Okay. I hope this is a public road that has some vehicles to take because I can't be bothered walking the whole way. Ah. There's always something that goes wrong in each part of GTA that I record. Oh, there's a motorbike. Please don't go, please don't go, please don't go, please don't go. Give me your bike. Boom! Oh, that was sick! <laughs> yeah, boy. Here we go. Let's go, bitch! Wow. Oh shit! Oh, look at this. Speedy! I ha I actually haven't bought a property yet. I've obviously, just driving past the property then made me think about it. I haven't bought any properties in the whole game yet because we still are getting paid in respect. We're not really getting paid in major money, so I think we're about nearly a third of the way through the game. I, I, I want to say we're nearly 30 missions deep, and the game is 100 missions. For the whole game that's no side missions that is just main storyline of course you can actually miss some some missions out which i'm hoping to not do i want to play as many mandatory well i want to play as many missions as possible because there might be some fun side missions such as say the mission for um 
Tenpenny. It, it was labelled as a CJ mission, but it's a mission for Tenpenny. And you get a girlfriend. Oh shit, I've got a girlfriend on this. I forgot, I haven't took her out for a date. Hang on, I've still got the icon. Oh snap. Oh, uh, she ain't gonna be happy. It's been about, been about a week or two since I last even spoke to her. Oh no. Hey, Carl. How you doing, sis? This ain't over, man. I did this to take care of my woman. But now I'm gonna head straight back home and I'm gonna cap me some fucking dope dealers. Hey, look. You going to the barrio with that big willy bullshit and you gonna get shrek. And I ain't losing you over no macho bullshit. Hey, relax, man. It's gonna get handled when it's time. We already know who the fucking bad guys are, man. Your stinking grocery for the smoke and those chota pigs, Ted Benny and, and Pulaski. Smoke, he's a pusher, man. No, no, not Smoke. He might mess with Crash, but he don't mess with no yay. Come on, CJ, how you think he got that new house, huh? Just let that grow for life bullshit go and take a look around you. Word on the street is twice a week. Smoke sends a car out to San Fierro and the trunk comes back full of white. Shit! I gotta keep my eye on the highway to San Fierro. Maybe I'll see something. Just, just lay low and I'll be back. Hello? Where'd you be last call? Why don't you call, eh? Well, I was just about to call you, but... Liar! You'll be hanging out with those sticky putas! No, no. If you just let me... Just silence! Get up here! We've got places to rob! Look, I'm in the middle of some shit, right? Oh, that was a bitch's name, Catalina. Now, I'm not but... sure if it's Catalina from GTA 3, which is the one that obviously shoots Cloud. Okay, that is a... Uh... That is quite some distance away. Hopefully, because we're going cross-country, essentially, we should be able to get there quite quickly. Now, it did give us the option previously, when we done the mission with Catalina, there was three, three or four places that you could rob things from, like a store or a tanker. We went with the closest one just to make it a bit more convenient. So we robbed the tanker. So I'm going to assume that we need to actually rob all those stores. So it'll be a mission, and then Catalina will call us. We'll need to rob another store eventually until we rob all of the stores. Um, that's the only thing I can think of, maybe, unless she's got an actual very distinct mission for us. But I assume they're going to need money. If we see Cloud, that would be kind of cool. I I'd quite like to see Cloud or maybe even Tommy Vassetti. It, it would be cool to have like a little throwback because I think these all occur around the same time. I'm pretty sure they do. They are in like the 80s. Something like that, right? I'm pretty sure they're, they're based in the 80s. There's never been... Well, there probably has been, but I'm a dumbass and I've never, you know, looked it up or anything because I didn't want anything spoiled for me. Like, even if a game's 20 years old, I try my best to avoid it being spoiled for me because I might eventually play that game and think, oh, that's new, that hasn't been spoiled for me. It's similar to, like, a movie. Say, if, you, if you're showing someone a movie that's your favourite movie, and it's about 20 years old, but they've never watched it. You're not going to tell them the whole plot of the movie, are you? You're going to say to them, watch this movie, it's great, it's 20 years old. You know, how have you never seen it type thing? So essentially that's what I'm doing with a load of games. There's, there's been games that I've, I've seen as classics that I've never fully completed. Say Final Fantasy VII. I played the remake and I played a bit of the original. Fantastic games, like honestly, the remake is one of my favourite games of all time now. Just the atmosphere, the soundtrack, the gameplay, the characters. Obviously, I'm not sure if playing the original Final Fantasy VII will give me the same feeling, but playing the remake, I was just, as soon as I put that game in, I couldn't put it down, and that's all I played until I completed it. I nearly got the Platinum Trophy. The only thing I need to do is, I forgot what it's called, so apologies for not remembering all the details. You can go in this like little uh, training room, and I was on the second to last fight, I think, or maybe the last fight, and you've got to do it on the hardest difficulty, and then that was the only thing I needed to do to get the trophy. I've got all the collectibles, I've done all the side missions, got all the weapons, and got them to... I think you can level them up to Master or something, and you unlock 
specific skills and stuff, so I've done all that. But, um, yeah, Final Fantasy VII, wow, what a game. So, oh, that is sweet. So I do need to play through Final Fantasy VII properly, but I might fend off on it until I play Rebirth, which comes out in January. January, I think, yeah. Hey, Catalina, baby, it's me, Carl Johnson. Hey, baby, I'm sorry, we got off on the wrong foot. I had a rough time, baby. You know, maybe I was a little hoarse. Please forgive me. Come on, baby. Open up the door. Shit. Is she here? I don't see me. Come on, baby. Don't be mad. Baby, please. Baby, without you, there is no Carl Johnson. Damn, man. Shit. Now, where is this stupid bitch? Uh, Here, cabrón. Who's the bitch now, eh? Oh, baby, baby. I'm, I'm so sorry, baby. Well, what's that? You so right. Please forgive me, baby. Just, just don't fucking shoot me, please. Do you think you're sorry? Huh? How do you want to prove you're sorry? I, I, come on now, baby. Come on. I'm going to play with you so rough, baby. Keep talking. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'll take you to rob banks and shit. Oh. And, you know, I, I, I'll let you kill anyone you want to kill. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm going to treat you right, baby. Shit. Just, come on. Just please don't shoot Carl, me. I, I think I love you. Uh, shit, that, that's great. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah, fantastic. Shit, all that, uh, you, you wanna go rob some shit, baby? Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, what we got left? Are you stupid? Did you forget already? The bank in Palomino Creek, the liquor store in Blueberry, or the betting shop in Montgomery. Okay, well this time we gonna do a real chill. No crazy psycho shit, baby. Speak for yourself, soft boy. Today, I feel like killing all the men I meet. Oh, baby. Don't worry, I make an exception for some of the men in my life. Now drive faster! I'm not even driving. Okay, so, yeah. I was just double checking it does take us to the closest one, so let's go! Now, this bitch is definitely just a red flag all over. I'm absolutely positive it is Catalina from GTA 3, so I'm not sure if this is after she shot Cloud or before. I'm going to say it's after. after. No, no, before, because it can't be after, because Cloud kills her in GTA 3. Here we go. Let's go. You want to rob a betting shop? Yeah. Do you know man enough? Here, Carl. Satchel charges. Where the hell did you get them? Oh, God. So, get inside the track betting shop. I'm gonna get done for being a terrorist. Oh, great. <sighs> Open the back room door or I blow your fucking face off! Leave the panic button or I'll kill your children too! Jesus! Ah, oh, no! I warned you, you stupid bitch! Stupid fucking bitch! Oh, snap! Now I kill you! Eat my you shit! There we go, there's a satchel charge. And when the satchel is attached, select detonator. Um, okay, here we go. I don't know if this is the right way to do. Oh! Yep. oh. Get that That's me. Small. So use the satchel to open the safe. There we go. Big boom coming, baby. Hang on, let me select it. Here we go. Get out of here just to be safe. And a one, and a two, and a boom. Oh my god, that's a lot of money. Do we get some of that? Okay, I got it. Shut up, bitch. Whatever, let's roll. Your boobs look like elf shoes. Girl, get us some fucking wheels. Here we go. Ain't no one paid your ass on you, huh? Nah, easy on that beat. Okay, you got a one to level. Doo -doo -doo. Gotta go to the pain spray. Here we go. Great, cut across all of this just to make it a bit easier. Here we go. 
Can I drive up here? Yep, let's drive up the mountain just to make it a bit easier. Because we have three stars. Oh, I thought we had more. Okay, three stars isn't so bad. So we should be able to do it quite quickly and quite smoothly. That's just what I'm hoping. Here we go. Oh, no. Okay, no, there's a way to get down there, but there is a police vehicle. So let's just slow down. Here we go. And then loop back on ourselves because I'm going the wrong way. Here we go. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> she flew! Uh, can we do it to a bike? I'm not sure. Maybe we can. I'm not sure if you can do it. Okay, I didn't know you could do it to bikes. Okay. Get us back to the hideout. I know you can't do it to police vehicles, so... I'm actually glad we've been able to do it to a bike. There we go. And now, we all we need to do is take Catalina back and... You're fucking psycho! All two little men are scared of strong women. If we're passionate, you say we're crazy. If we're upset, you say we're hysterical. We sleep with men, we're sluts. If we don't put out, we're frigid bitches. Who you call the little me? You went berserk back there. That was just another day in the office. You can't stand it. Go put your tiny balls in the freezer. Tiny ball? I just wait a minute. Enough! Just shut up and drive. I'm out of the fucking bus. Catalina gives me the type of vibe that if she made you something for tea and you said you didn't want it, She'd rip the fridge door off and hit you over the head with it. To impress me, Carl Johnson. Here's your gut, big man. 